Hello and welcome to this video about my preprint on diffeomorphisms and positive curvature. In order to explain what this article is about, let M be a manifold. And let's take it a make it a closed one. And we define our C of M to be the space of Riemannian matrix on M satisfying property C, where C is usually some kind of curvature condition like positive scalar curvature, positive sectional curvature, positive Ricci curvature, and so on. Now, when one is studying these kind of conditions, there usually are two questions being asked. The first one being the existence question. So, does M admit a Riemannian metric satisfying C? Or, in terms of the space level, is the space non-empty? And of course, the second question, the follow usual follow-up, is the uniqueness question. Which would be, is the space actually a point? The problem is that asking these questions is not a good thing, because it will never, almost never be. In particular, in the three cases I've written down above, because these are open conditions, so there will be if there is one metric satisfying this, there will be lots of those. But it's a sensible question to ask if it's not equal to the point, but homotopy equivalent to the point, which amounts to studying the homotopy groups of the space and asking, are they isomorphic to the trivial group? And I will now to only talk about question two, and also the article does. And the state of the arts is that a lot is known for the condition that the scalar curvature is positive. And in contrast, rather little is known for positive sectional or positive Ricci curvature. So what is one way to obtain elements in these homotopy groups, possibly interesting elements? Well, it's considering, it's given by considering the action of the diffeomorphism group. So let diff of M be the topological group of self-diffeomorphisms of M And this acts on RC of M by sending a pair FG of a diffeomorphism and a Riemannian metric to the push forward of G along F. Okay, so. Now we have this action, so next let us fix the metric, so let G be a Riemannian metric in C, satisfying C fixed. And then we can consider the orbit map associated to this metric, which maps the feomorphism to the push forward of G along this diffeomorphism. Now G is this fixed metric. And this induces, of course, a, ma a map on homotopy groups. And now our, my main result. In this article is that is the following. If M is a simply connected spin manifold, 
So there is some extra additional condition on the tangent bundle of the manifold here. And let's abbreviate the dimension of M should be D. Okay, next let's assume we have a K greater or equal one that satisfies the following inequality. So K is smaller or equal than the minimum of two values. And D plus K shall be divisible by four. And then there are, are two more assumptions on the manifold M. The first is the existence of a Riemannian metric satisfying C. And the second is that some contrarian class of the manifold is non-trivial. Good. And now the statement is that induced map from pi k minus 1 diff of m to pi k minus 1 rc of m is non-trivial if I consider the rationalization of those groups. Okay, and in particular this implies that pi k minus 1 of the space of positive Ritika richer matrix and pi k minus 1 of the space of positive sectional curvature matrix on M are both non-trivial and one can even be more precise there exists a homotopy group which can contains an element of infinite order in these spaces okay thank you for watching